what's up travel laker fam all right guys welcome to farming the land one brand today so i uh just purchased uh six 55 gallon water totes uh they were used with household cleaner before but we're cleaning them out putting some acv in them but the reason i got them is to use them as waters for our pigs i only got a couple of them for that but i went and got a couple extra ones that way we can use them for feed or whatever we want to use them for i'm gonna probably cut one in half use it for a trough but for now we're making some waters with nipplers on them for the pigs to stop actual you know issues that we have with pigs everybody knows uh, they like to take their water troughs over they make a mess um everything so we all know this sorry just in the camera so we all know this but they make a mess um, and they make messes with the water troughs, flipping the waters over as well. Always have problems with. So, what we're going to do is install these monoflow nipplers. Um, I've already made one, but I'm going to kind of show you guys what we're doing. So this, I'm hoping that this doesn't leak, but we're going to put some plumber's tape oops, around them. So this will hopefully create a seal so we don't get a leak in the actual tank when we put the water in. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, I was curious if they didn't have an actual backing to like screw them on like you do with like chicken feathers. But that's how it's going to kind of look. And we're gonna attach this um, about midway. So this is gonna be for some of my bigger pigs. So there's only two pigs in this area, but I'm going to Okay, so what I'm gonna do is um, grab another tote here. Let's grab this one. Okay. Sorry, functioning with one hand right now. Okay, so Drill. Okay, so I'm using a three-fourths paddle bit for these. These are the bigger mono flow ones. They're not the super... They have smaller ones for like piglets. These are ones actually for pigs. So I'm going about, I would say a little over a foot up. There's like lines in it. And I'm putting them right here. Uh, about halfway up. They're not for piglets. I said probably put them down here. So we're going to put just one nippler right about here. Just like that, put a hole in. Now we're gonna take our nippler, this, with the put the plumber's tape, and begin to screw it in. Uh, just make wait till the threads catch. Is what we're looking for. Once that threading catches, well, if the threading catches, it caught on the other one. It did, but. I think it's just taking a minute here for it to actually catch because it is a round object so I try to apply a little bit of force and then once we start to actually get it in there then we will begin to just tighten it with channel locks here just Some of the extra plumber's tape will actually create a seal on the outside that pushes out as well. And then, now that we're snug and tight, let's check and make sure, yep, I think our seal is all the way against it. Not loose or wobbly, it's nice pretty snug in there, um, which is what we want. So, our nippler is on the nippler, I mean on the tub, and then they'll just be able to drink out of it right from here, just push up against it, water should flow out. Um, should save on spilling. I'm going to kind of show you guys as we go, 
Um, I might hook up a valve system in here somewhere to run it constantly, um, but we're gonna see, and I'm gonna strap it down. So I'm gonna clean these out, because they need to be cleaned. But, our nippler's on, but we can fill it up with a hose. As you can see, it's got some green stuff down there. So we're gonna wash this out. But, this one's done. We well, can just do that as many nipples as you want along here. I would space them out at least probably eight inches just so you don't create a weakness in the barrel, but also so multiple picks and drink at once. But you don't really need probably but two. I'm only doing two for like 15 pigs. So um, this one is only for two pigs with 15 set of pigs. They're not all gonna drink at once um, and they'll take turns. So. I don't think you have a problem with only two to three nipples on there for multiple pigs. So we'll see how this works and keep you guys updated to go along with the video. But this is actually the how-to of how to install one. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. So we're going to see if it leaks. I'll let you guys know. All right. Catch you guys here in a few when we're actually installing these and seeing what we're going to do next with the water. So. All right, guys. What's up? Okay. So we're over here at one of our pig areas where we have big pigs and that's an old tarp that was a covering but he just tore up <laughs> um, this is our our really our breed pigs our breeder pigs uh, this is our girl Wilma I don't think I've showed you guys these pigs yet this is our girl Wilma and that's our boy Fred um, but I came to show you guys actually um, this so this is our water tote for them that I showed you guys earlier with the water on it, right? So that's it right there. However, I was gonna show you guys how I installed it for them. They're really big, um, 400 plus pounds. So I had to strap it here for water. My plan is to run a hose back in here to this pump valve that I cut out. However, um, I haven't gotten that far yet, but I also, though I can show you guys it installed I cannot show you guys them drinking from it because that is not the case yet. Um, I've been trying to get them to drink from it. I've been practicing trying to like pump it for them to kind of push the water on it um, as other people I've seen do, but it hasn't worked yet. <laughs> so unfortunately, as of right now, I can't tell you guys how great the water waters work i think my suggestion for this would be as soon as you get your pigs um when they get babies or whatever you do this uh, you create the water on the water on the 55 gallon drum and begin to practice them drinking it when they're little that way um, when they get older they don't depend upon a trough um, i think that mostly is going to be the best option and how I feel like that works. Now, I have one there, but I also have one over here at our pig paddock. Uh, this one has two nipples on it. So I'm gonna kinda show you guys what that looks like. Cause I only showed you guys making the one with one nipple. You're gonna do the same thing where they're one nipple, five nipples, whatever. Um, it's gonna be the same thing. So don't think it's gonna be more difficult you just put more holes and it'll be the same process you do for one nipple i'm going to show you guys what that looks like kind of the system we ran for it but they're a little more probably easier to push to it the water but i haven't actually been able to capture them drinking from it either and one of our family members that runs the pigs hasn't gotten them to drink from it yet so that's something we are working on but i'm going to show you guys what this looks like here so this one's a lot cleaner so this one two nipples on it hose running to this stacked up thing <laughs> holding the water tote to give it a good gravity flow um for the water because this is what we don't want these are the two troughs i cut we use these for feed and now to get done eating we fell in with water now but that wasn't the plan of course, originally, that was not the plan. However, that's just kind of how it's went so far. Beaky, beaky. But, they have water, 
in both troughs until we know for sure they're drinking from it. I'm probably gonna set up a trail camera to know if they're drinking from it like at night or whatever. But as far as I know, so far they're not. Um, like I said, the only thing I know to do is to continually, you know, try and push this and get them interested in it. Um, I know we've been trying to. Come here, hey, hey. Piggy, piggy. We've been trying to get them to drink from it. But have just been, so far the past few days, have just been unsuccessful in doing so. Um, it's hard to know if they're drinking from it or not. Because our cores are providing water, but I was trying to show you guys hopefully they would drink from it. Come on, Mocha. Come on, Piggy Piggy. The first night I put it in there, I got them pretty close, but I tried putting syrup on it. Here comes the big girl. Here comes Blue. Hey, Blue. Hey, Blue Blue. Come on. I know this isn't like a video to show you guys a drink from, but I wanted to see if I could get them a drink from for you guys. But anyways, that's what it looks like the setup for us. Um, like I said, I do suggest doing this for when you first get them as piglets. Um, that way, it makes the, the process of this quick easier and quicker. Um, and that's what I'm going to do when I get my next set of piglets in. Um, hopefully when our, when Wilma gives birth to those piglets, that's how I'm going to give them water. Um, I think it will be easier then because they're also drinking milk from a nipple um, on their mom. So they might think that an easy transition from that is what I'm hoping. Um, just to create less mess, easier carry for water so we don't have to fill them up every day. Um, just to make it easier, easier for prevent mud and so forth like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Although I cannot say for sure, even though I know it happens. Um, I can't show you the pigs are drinking from it, but that is what it looks like. That's how we set it up with the 250 gallon water tote into the 55 gallon drum. Um, you could run it a couple different ways, but that's how we're running right now. We don't have to fill it up every so often. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps if you're wanting to do this. And I will make a video when I have them hopefully drink from it here soon. So, I'll see you guys later. And thanks for joining me on Farming the Lamb and Brand. See ya.